Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can prevent the use of certain USB devices while allowing the use of others. For this particular scenario, we're going to assume that we work for a company who has just handed out company-issued flash drives. And now this company, they want to prevent the employees from using flash drives from, from their home or other flash drives that they have around and only use these company issue drives in their PCs. So let's get started. First things first, what we have is two USB flash drives. So let's go ahead and pop these in and see that we can indeed connect to them. So for our first one, we'll go ahead and slide this guy in. And as Windows identifies it and brings it up, so we'll pull up good old this PC. And so we've got this drive here with this labeled jumper. Now this right here is a 32 gigabyte USB 3.0 flash drive. It's nice and fast, it's large. We can fit a lot of files onto it, but we don't want the employees using this one. So let's go ahead and safely eject this guy. And once it is ejected, hasn't completely gone away, but we'll go ahead and pull it out. And so now we've got this little guy. This right here will be our company issued USB flash drive. Now this one here is a 16 gigabyte model. It's, it's uh, decently sized, however, it is painfully slow. And for that reason, our company thinks that we won't try to pilfer off very large documents from our company's network. So we'll go back here to this PC. And we see that uh, this drive here is labeled work USB. So this drive right here is the one that we want our employees to use. All right, so to get started, we need to jump into our local group policy. And to get there, we'll type in gpedit.msc. And when this guy pops up, we're going to drill down. Let's see, we'll maximize this guy. And we're going to drill down into administrative templates. And when it expands, we're going to go into system. And then we'll get into device installation. And then finally, device installation restrictions. Now, of these restrictions here, there are a few that uh, we will call out and take a look at. This first one here, allow installation of devices that match these device setup classes. Now, there's two of these. So there's allow the installation. And there's this next one, prevent installation of these devices. Now these ones too, they won't particularly work for us uh, because what this does is it wipes out an entire classification of these devices. So if we didn't want to use any USB drives at all, then we could use this policy here combined with the USB flash drives GUID or a globally unique identifier to wipe that whole class out. Now to find these GUIDs, so I do have a web page here, here from um, Microsoft. And let's say, so if we, for this example, if we want to knock out all the USB stuff, go down here in alphabetical order, USB device. So we see here the class GUID. So, you know, we could just highlight that guy. We'll copy to the clipboard. We'll go into our uh, policies here. Now this one here says allow for the installation, but if we wanted to do the opposite of that by preventing installation, we could click to enable this policy. We click on the show button here and we can click and paste in that uh, that policy. Now I'm going to click cancel since we don't want to go this route because it will wipe out everything. So you know down below that one, so we do have uh, two little policies that don't quite apply to what this scenario is, but I think it's, it's kind of fun and so we're going to fill this one out. So we have display a custom message when an installation is prevented by a policy setting. So let's say our, our users, they, uh, you know, they bring in that flash drive they want to use from, from home and it's, it's just not working, it's being blocked by policy. Well, we can provide a, a message, a custom message. Now this is a, a generic one, just custom message. We'll see here in a minute. This could say something like, uh, hey, you know, you're, this is against policy. Uh, if you want to use this flash drive, you can contact your sysadmin or, or something like that. The one right below it is similarly titled, uh, display a custom message. But for this one, it's just a message title. Well, if we're using one, we'll go ahead and use the other one as well. So custom message title. All right, so the one that we do want to use is just below that one. And this one says to allow the installation of devices that match any of these device IDs. 
Now, unlike the device class identifiers, these device IDs will identify this specific USB device. So to get these, well, let's open up this policy. And so, oh, the one below it, and this guy right here. So allow the installation of devices matching these device IDs. Now, there is one that is just like it. We can just close this one out, and it's just below it. That says prevent installation of devices that match these uh, device IDs. So, you know, two uh, trains of thought here. If we if we knew that we had one particular flash drive, you know, for for this scenario, if we knew that there was one uh, drive by some manufacturer that would blue screen the PCs for whatever reason, we could use this policy to just block that one device. Now, for our scenario, we want to block everything and just allow our company issued flash drive. So we're going to use the policy above that one. Allow installation of devices that meet this device ID. Now, to get that device ID, you could probably contact the vendor and get it. But let's see, we got two of those open. I'll go to this one. But what we can do is we can pull up the properties of our device. And what we'll do is we'll click on hardware. And we'll make sure that our device is highlighted. So this is a Kingston drive. And then we'll click on properties. And in here, we'll click on details. And in the drop down, we'll select hardware IDs. And we have these various hardware IDs for this device. Now, going from the bottom to the top, it's generally a bit more generic to a lot more specific. So if we want to stop all you know, of these USB storage devices, we could choose this one. We're going to choose this guy right here. It's uh, specific enough for our device. So we'll copy that to the clipboard. And we'll come back over here. We will enable this policy. And we'll click on Show. And we'll drop our device in here. Now, if we had multiple devices, we can add more to this list as we needed to allow. Now, we'll click on OK and Apply. So what we've done is we've just allowed the installation of this device. Now, by default, really, Windows will allow installation of all USB devices. So we're really not gaining anything. Whenever you use any of these allow policies, whether allow by a device ID or allow by the device class GUID, we have to use a second policy. And that is the one down here at the very bottom. Prevent installation of devices not described by other policy settings. So this one here says, if you're not on the allow list, you're going to be denied. So we need to use this guy as well. So we'll click on OK. And at this point, we've now blocked all the other uh, USB devices. We have allowed just the one, our company issued uh, USB flash drive. So let's test this out. So we'll jump back in here. Let's actually cancel out of that. We'll cancel out of that. And let's go ahead and safely disconnect from our company issued flash drive. And it's kind of waiting there. Well, I'm sure it will be fine. We'll just Pull this guy out. And we'll take our other flash drive, our high speed one that we don't want the employees to use. And we'll insert this device. And looky there, it opens right up. So our policy isn't taking effect. And you know, this is Windows 10. It kind of sometimes disappears out of there. But you know, we can, we can see over on the left hand side jumper, that's the name of that drive. It's still available. We can browse into it. Well, we've, we've configured that policy. Well, we've configured the policy to deny installation of new USB devices. So the employees have ever used it one time, it's saved in there, and they can still use it. Now, any new PCs or new uh, computers being brought onto the network receiving this policy, then you know it will then be blocked. So what we can do then to ensure that this drive is not used is we can uninstall this device. And we can do that by getting into good old device manager. And in Device Manager, we can go to our disk drives, and then the A data drive. That is the one that we want to not use anymore. And we can right click on this guy and choose uninstall. All right. And you're going to uninstall this device. Yes, that's fine. That's what we want to do. And so now it is gone. So we'll just pull this drive out and reinsert it. So we'll just make sure that Windows isn't going to uh, re download this uh, driver for it. And we'll pop that drive back in. And we can see now instead of appearing under uh, disk drives, it's now under here under other devices. And so, you know, if 
if we really want to use this uh, drive here, we can update the driver software and search automatically. Now, of course, Windows, it has this driver in there, and so it's going to search online. It's going to find it. It's going to try to install it, but, but it can't. It's being blocked by policy. Now, of course, if we put in a, a message that could you know, provide any direction for our users in here, it would say, uh, you know, hey, you can't do this. It's against policy, but if you really want to use it, uh, you have to go find somebody, uh, an administrator that can provide that type of access. So from here, we have seen that we can provide access. Actually, you know what? Before we get into that, the last little closing bit, let, uh, let's just make sure. So we've applied this policy, and let's get back into good old computer manager, and let's eject that disk, and let's put in our company issue to drive, and we'll just make sure that we can still gain access to this guy. And sure enough, work USB opens up, and we are in there. So sure enough, we cannot use any other drive that has now uh, been blocked. We can still use our company issued flash drive. So if you ever find the need that you need to remove access to certain USB flash drives, whether for compatibility or stability issues, or you just want to limit a PC for any reason, while still allowing the use of other USB flash drives, you can do that with group policy.